when I first saw the trailer for Gigi and Nate, I knew that I wanted to see that film and be able to promote it. Uh, it was just one of those stories that I think you need to, to watch, to see. It's kind of an uplifting movie, I thought, as well. And so this is a story that's inspired by a true story. And we see lots of movies like that. I'm just wondering, why choose this story of all of them to tell on the big screen? Because I've never seen a story or heard of this story like this before. I've never, I've never, you're, as a director, you're always looking for, for, for to, to not repeat and to not just simply, you know, do something that everyone else has done. And you're always looking for a, a way of holding an audience, especially in cinema, if you're asking people to go back into the movies, pay some money and actually enjoy themselves collectively in an auditorium. You're looking for a, for a story that they can't find anywhere else. And so when this was presented to us, we looked at it and went, my God, this is so unique and, and so fresh and so new. And I've never seen it before. And I've certainly never seen a monkey, a primate behave in this way before. And I've certainly never seen it in cinema. Yeah, you know, there's a movie that came out a while back that was a quadriplegic, but it was more like the care that they gave that person and just kind of, I think it was a comedy even uh, in that line. So, but nothing like this, nothing with an animal. And you, we mentioned the monkey and one of the storylines is kind of this activist group rises up against uh, Nate and his family because of the monkey. They're citing certain laws and such. And do you think there's going to be any pushback from animal rights activist groups because of the storyline? Um, I don't imagine there's a pushback from anybody, really. I think there's an, there's an awareness um, as you watch the film that we are incredibly balanced about the arguments that we're, we're putting on, on camera, that we are allowing everybody a voice, but that what we are saying is reevaluate your politics here. All right, relook at what you were, the unintended consequences of what you think is a progressive idea is in fact regressive, is in fact punitive. It is not necessarily conducive to either helping disabled people or the advancement of our own relationships with animals. And so what you have is a, is a world now, which in America is split, so that you, in many states in this, in this country, you are not allowed a primate. Now, I don't believe most people even know that, but that's happened. But in certain states, you are still allowed that as a disabled person to have a primate working with you. But fundamentally, what we're looking at here is something much more spiritual, Father. It's much more interesting than that. It's beyond politics. It's about what an animal, a conscious, cognitive, primate and that relationship that that animal can give you can give back to a human being and that human being can give back to an animal that's what you're looking at that animal is primal they're primitive and that's what we lose sometimes as in in our world we lose that ability to connect with something of the planet of the earth and that's a spiritual thing and when that goes we are left, we are, we are bereft. And sometimes animals can give that back to us. I see it all the time in nursing home visits. It's actually one of the points I bring out in uh, my review piece I'll get published. And maybe just lastly, I found kind of a message that I walked away with that I, pu that I published in my review, but what's your hope or the message that you want the viewer to walk away with after watching Gigi and Nate? Just reevaluate your 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 um your your own stances sometimes uh reevaluate and look at um how we work with animals how we look after animals how we integrate animals into our own existence how we don't just separate them off how we are destroying their their natural environments we're not allowed we're burning their forests we're destroying their jungles there has to be a way in which we can accommodate the wild into the non-wild, the civilized into the non-civilized. There has to be a conjunction and a learning. And hopefully the movie starts that little debate. Well, thanks so much for directing this uh, film and bringing it to the screen. And I really hope people go out and see it. Thank you very much, Father. Appreciate that.